Okay, I'm going to try to keep this video really short. But this is number three. Um, let me just rotate it around. Uh, a couple things. This connector is a little wobbly, which can be cured real easily. This is a uh, 516 steel uh, actuator rod, 4 millimeter threaded rod. The truin is is good on this one. It's it's uh, geometry is just right on it. I do have a, this is still this rod is still too short, I'm waiting on my longer threaded rod. But I've I got it just long enough to go into a, a little bushing here, which is just a piece of brass brass tubing. Um, I did right now. I've got. Uh, a block holding the a quarter inch aluminum block holding the motor in place with four screws and also spreads the uh, side pieces out properly and then on the other end I've got a block that I notched for the it holds the uh, bushing and then I notched it so that the strut could go into it and bottom out into it and then the only other thing is that I did add a uh, an adjustable I this is just temporary because I've got some uh, standoffs coming but I put a threaded standoff in there and then I'm using this bolt here this is adjustable so that when it's in the down position you can uh, make this hit here and take up any slack it's a problem and I've got a couple of, of uh, makeshift shims in here right now uh, these would be round washers that would go around the uh, pivot pivot rod but right now I've just got them in there to take up the slack make it operate more smoothly anyway um, I'm going to show you in the down position, it's solid. Yeah, sorry, it's hard to video it in. But anyway, there's no play in the down position at all. And then, um, I mean, sorry, that's the up position. And then uh, in the down position, it bottoms out. See that hitting. Now these could be moved around to different locations, but this could actually be moved a little closer to the truant block, and then that way the this little thing would only be sticking out slightly. Anyway, it takes up the slack, so it's uh, it's really uh, fully contacting the foot on the truant block you can see in there in fact it's moved it's actually moving too far this slot the only other thing is the slot here it's about a quarter inch longer than it needs to be uh, this action could stop about right here and at the other end about right here right now it's two inches long but it could be a one and three quarter anyway there it is um, down locks in solid you can hear it you can hear it locking in and that's uh, absolutely no play and then on the upside I mean, sorry that was up this is down and it, and it also locks in so, uh, when it's actually moving, like halfway, there is a little bit of play in it. Not much. But that's normal with any of these designs. They're not real tight tolerance. And what you want is, you want it solid in the up position, and you want it solid in the down position. 
and you don't want a huge amount of slop in between but this has just you know just a little bit just like any of them do anyway uh, the whole unit weighs, uh, without the strut piece, it weighs 8 ounces, which is uh, obviously a heavy duty unit. It's, um, see the total length on it is, is a little over 5 inches with the motor, and the mounting plate is 3 inches there and then about I think it's two and three quarters yeah two and three quarters wide three inches long the length could be shortened some by notching it uh, you know this could be uh, Anyway, length could be shortened to about right here on both sides. So you could, you know, you could shorten it some. So I'm going to still play with the dimensions on it, but I'm real happy with the, the action. And uh, uh, this would, this could actually be mounted in a jet and, and used. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to change a few of the dimensions. I'm going to make three of them and put them in my hotspot. And see how it goes. <laughs> 